we have, have not been drinking at all, but we were at an event, and it just makes us look bad. No, 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 that's it makes us look bad. Right, I'm so sorry. Make it worse. Yeah, I know, I know yeah. it is, but do, do you think I can get? I, I, I want to make everyone okay. Is everyone okay? Okay. Yeah. You don't need to tell me that because that just makes me upset. Because now I think there's a bunch of people around here who think I have a problem, and they're and they're not going to talk to me, right? So now I'm walking on eggshells. Because I'm not sure if anyone, if this guy wants to talk to me, he can talk to me. If that guy wants to Welcome back to the channel. This is GB Speaks Facts. And today I'm here to speak some facts. And the fact that today is we are 30 subs away from our 1K goal, guys. We are so close. I can feel it. If you like what you see on the channel, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click that bell to stay tuned on some more crazy Karen posts. But without further ado, let's just jump right into it. This male Karen thought he could intimidate his neighbor with his mighty shouting skill. But the neighbor? Oh boy, he unleashed a comeback so epic that it should win an award for the best roast of the year. In the fucking courthouse. Do something! Come on in, court line. Why I wanna whoop your ass for? Come on in, Why I wanna whoop your ass for? That's what I'm supposed to do, look at you! You little oh, dickhead, you just mad cause you got a little dick. Man, can feel say you got a little dick. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. There you go. Stop crying. Get your ass over here. Stop crying. Come on, boy. Stop crying. What my ass? Stop crying. You always you just you just want want somebody to touch your ass cause you gay. Shut up. You just want me to touch your ass cause you gay. I got big dick too. Big dick too. You got little dick. You got little dick. You got little dick. You got little dick. So? You mad? I got more money than you. I got more money than you. I got more money than you. Alright, well stop crying about that fence and go buy another one. Stop crying then. If money ain't nothing, move your fence. And a lot of my friends fight. Your friends ain't, your friends ain't, your friends ain't, you don't even got no friends. You so mean and grumpy, don't nobody want to be around you. Your own wife don't want to be around you. Your own wife don't want to be around you. You little punk. Oh, crap it is. Why would I want one? I'm trying to father. What that bitch? Are you jealous? You jealous? You jealous? Oh, cry baby ass. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Yo, racist ass. Over there crying like a little He found that secret sauce. You lost, Karen. I'm sorry. That was a full-on roast fest. Stop crying. Stop crying. I said stop crying. These Karen went full drama queen mode and called the cops on the poor workers in the store. It was both irritating and amusing to see someone so desperate for attention. Meanwhile, at my local family dollar, Karen ended up calling the cops on worker and it backfired ha ha like for part two. No, I don't give a Get 
Get right there. Get the cops, get the manager, get whoever you want. This way. With me. I'm not getting in the crossfire. Get him, get him, get him. Now, that's right. Baby girl, we all got something to do. I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm very sorry. It's all right. Get my phone out. Right. And call the police. 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 I'm sorry that you feel the way you do. I was like. I got another job. I got another job. I need to go get. Oh, 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 Cause I believe in God. I believe there's a God up there. Can you please get the manager? Can you please get the manager? That's the manager you're talking to. I want the manager! They really let that go on for 10 minutes instead of opening up another line like she asked? She's crazy, but some places have too much of a mismanagement problem. This drunk Karen and her totally wasted partner caused a scene after an accident. And guess what? They decided to hit and run as if that's a normal way to resolve their issues. That, How did you crash? No, no, honestly, we saw each hit the police mouth the curb. Someone else got us. Oh, so no one else hit you guys. You hit a tree. No, honestly, I didn't think anyone was still. I'm so sorry. Um, what I honestly, we just don't run because they're making it work. No, no, we're just trying to. Honestly, we're just not the best. Like, I'm just letting you know. They're going to find you when you're close. Hey, hey, bro, bro, bro. Honestly, they're going to find you when you're close, so you should just wait right there. We have not been drinking at all, but we were at an event, and it just makes us look bad. No, that's it makes us look no, bad. I'm so sorry. Make it worse. I know, I know yeah. it is, but do, do you think I can get? I, I, I want to make everyone okay. Is everyone okay? Yeah, it is. Just come back and take care of the business. If it was an accident, you just threw off the Is everyone okay? Every step we don't know. If somebody's hurt, we're going to come back in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. What's your name, dude? It's a hand run. My name is Jacob. Come on, let's go. They're going to find you. You literally have a dress on. Come back. Oh. You're fine. Come here. Come back. Everyone okay? Come here. You're fine. Come here. Did they already Whoa. drive? Did they already drive off? The Nobody people? can drive off that car. The other people. Did, oh, did no they idea. hit anybody? I have no idea. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. They're trying to just run away. Like, they're not this, going this anywhere. Is She's crazy. in a full on Kitsinetta dress. Like no, she, they just got married. Yeah. They're fucked up. Buddy, come on. He sounds drunk as hell. He thought he could run away from his mistakes. Stay and take care of like a man. 10 minutes, my ass. This male Karen must have taken a crash course in how to be the most obnoxious customer because he put on a show in the store, arguing with the poor cashier over paying for his item. I need you to hit the red button. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand why you don't just hit the damn red button. Stop my stuff. What is your problem? Like honestly, like there's a prompt right there. All you have to do is hit the red button. That's all you have to do. Why are you fighting? I me? don't have to hit the red button. I do not have to hit the red button. I have to give you money for what you're... What is your problem with me? Why? Why are you fighting me? Why are you fighting me? Because it doesn't make sense for you to fight me. It doesn't make sense for you to fight me. I'm a customer. Hey, it's not that hard, man. Like, you... But you keep, you mind your own business. Oh, my fault. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get you going. This guy just doesn't like being told what to do clearly, but they are both stubborn as you can see. Someone just hit the freaking button and get going. Good gosh. We've got a Karen complaining about an entitled Karen worker in the drive thru It's like a never-ending loop of Karen, each one thinking they're the queen of entitlement. How you doing today, ma'am? Hi. I just came through the drive-thru and okay. I was talking to a lady. Yes, ma'am. Who was extremely rude 
And I was trying to explain what size shake I wanted. And okay. I was right there on your menu. Okay. I don't care about the price. I just want that size. Hey, what would you like? And I said, I don't care right now. Okay. I said, I want the 319. And she went round and round. She said, the 329. I said, well, honey, it says 319. Okay. I just want that size. And she said, the 329. I said, fine. We went round. I said, you need to change your menu. And then I had also ordered a burger. And she said, you can leave now. I swear to God, that's what she said. Now, I said, can I, are you the manager? And she, she just said, you can leave now. I said, can I talk to your manager? She told me to leave. Now, I want to see your manager or whoever's in charge, and I want the number of your corporate office, and I want that young lady's name. Um, You're being recorded. You're not supposed to be recording us. What's her name? This one's rough because she is technically being a Karen, but I can see why she felt like she was being wrong. And as we saw from the reaction from the worker, she may actually very well be not so nice of a person. Imagine two Karens, both trying to prove they're the bosses of the store. They were arguing like there was no tomorrow. Oh, no, that's what you do. Security. I want the security. security. Right I'll give a f oh. you call me. I need a reason to call the police. You better call the police. I need a reason to call the police. Come on, man. I know. Now call me by my name, cause you know my name. Come on, girl, and I meant that. I can't even have to give it to you. Racist bitch. That shit gonna stop. That shit gonna stop. That shit never gonna stop. You racist. Sick of you mother. Mm -hmm. Now call me. Now I don't give a who you call. You racist. Ain't nobody did anything with you. No, you did something to her. That's what you did. I know. Well, that was a whole bunch of I don't know what happened, but what do you guys think? Worker had the audacity to complain about the customer being annoying, and the customer, in all their glory, started arguing back. I said they said it's annoying. I don't care what they said. They can come talk to me. Okay? You don't need to tell me that, because that just makes me upset. Because now I think there's a bunch of people around here who think I have a problem, and they're, and they're not going to talk to me. Right? So now I'm walking on eggshells. Because I'm not sure if anyone, if this guy wants to talk to me, he can talk to me. If that guy wants to, he can. If he wants to, he can. You don't have to come and tell me I'm annoying. I'm sorry. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> it's called Tourette's Syndrome. This is Costco. This is Costco. Ah! This is Costco. Sorry about it. Yeah, thanks, man. This poor guy has no control over what he does, but good gosh, man, it would be kind of hard not to laugh or feel a little unease, especially without knowing what's going on. I feel so bad for the dude. Guy confronted a hotel Karen worker who refused to give a refund, all because they supposedly broke the sacred hotel policy by using the swimming pool. Can you get a receipt, please? Yeah, do you have something with your corporate office's uh, number on it? I don't. I pay for my um. I don't care about that. I want the corporate office's number because I I don't understand this because some kids were having fun, but they it's okay for one of your guests to videotape them while they were in the pool. I'm not aware of anything. I don't care if you're aware of it or not. You're going off somebody else's say that they were acting up and they weren't. All they were doing was swimming. I'm not sure if you even know who complained. I, have no I don't give a dog on who complained. But guess what? My UAW legal services is going to find out if I don't get a refund. I just have multiple complaints. And hotel policy. Mo whatever. Whatever. You guys ha don't tell me that you don't have parties here because you have parties. You got people down there playing loud music and drinking right now. So don't tell me that you don't have parties here. Hotel policy, if it's violated, you don't qualify for a refund. Oh, I'll get my refund. I will get my refund because they didn't do anything What wrong. was the violation? Just inappropriate behavior and violation. What was the inappropriate behavior? The Them girl, swimming? The girls, the girls wasn't cussing. I was there. They weren't cussing and they weren't I'm twerking. Not, I'm just telling you. 
I'm what? just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, well, I understand if we violate it, if you saying that we violate it, but I'm telling you, ma'am, I was sitting right there and there was no violation. But, however, you have several complaints, and we also have some complaints that the very thing that people were saying we were doing, they were doing as, as well. So all I'm going to say is just give me my receipt, and then we will go on about our business, and we will contact co corporate. Regardless of the behavior and whatever else? Oh, I'll never, I'll never come back here. I will not refer anybody. Here. You'll be able to do my rent list. Anyways. I don't give a rent. Um, I wouldn't rent from this dump anyway. Only okay. guests are allowed in the pool. Not parties, not people that aren't staying here. Only guests. Maybe you know a friend or two seen in the room, but not twenty girls. There wasn't, wasn't twenty. However many there was, there was a lot. Too many. Oh, like, too many for our pool area. We have too many. Guests. I didn't, I didn't see anybody. No sign up there. I mean, there's not a list on the signs. Well, say then it should be made. It should. There should be something there that says how many people can I, is allowed I, I, in the I'm pool like, and how many people is allowed in the room. There well, should be a sign. There is. There's no, there ain't. There is no signs out there. The there is no sign out there. I didn't see no door, sign. On the website. Portal. It ain't on the website. You can't have more than four doors. It ain't on the website. All you're doing is right now is you're covering yourself because you know that you guys are in here. I would take it up with my oh, I'm not gonna take it up with him because he's a, he he's probably the one that told you to put us out and didn't even investigate the complaints. I'm going to your corporate office, and if he don't give me the corporate offices, if he doesn't give me the corporate offices, if he does not give me the corporate offices number, if he don't give me corporate number, I will have my attorney get. I'm not leaving. I'm staying right here because you're not going to do or say nothing else to my wife. You've already been rude enough. You can leave now. I'm not leaving until we get our receipt. I've not been rude. I've just yes, you have. Just yes, you, you have. I've told you You've been days. rude. You've been rude. When she asked you for the man, general manager's car, what did you do? You threw it on the counter to her. I didn't throw That's it. That's rude. Y'all can leave That's now. rude. The establishment will always claim you violated a rule, yet never be able to direct you to that said rule. It's just French for we just don't want you here and we want you out, but if they don't have a room, y'all reach in a bit. I think that back and forth bickering between the two neighbors was too funny and they, they'd probably make good friends, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below on what you think about any of these crazy Karens as well as check the screen for more crazy Karens if this wasn't your fix. As always, GB's out this bitch. Peace. Peace. <laughs>